Hello everyone, this is Ross here for Xbox Gamer Reviews and today we're taking a look at State of Anarchy Master of Mayhem. This release is on the Microsoft Store on the 1st of August 2018, priced at £6.39, $7.99, €7.99. Right, without any further ado, let's jump into it and check it out. I need a car. Right, so this is a twin stick shooter. You can drive vehicles as well, we need to jump in that one just over there. So. I have uh, played it a fair little bit already, got some levelling up done, but I have jumped back to the first level just to show you guys from the beginning. Alright, so we need to find the bank. It's over this way somewhere. Oh, let's not crash into the trees. There we go. Right, so inside each bank there'll be a boss to fight. There's also alien levels as well that you have to complete. We'll check one of those out in a little bit. Uh, that's a med kit on the table there. Just picked it up. Let's turn that music down just a tad because that's a bit loud. Right, so the boss is just up here. Dead easy to kill. There we go. Yeah, a bunch of money off him, and there'll be a bl blueprint to pick up as well. Right, so you level up as well in this game. So if you look at the top left of the screen, we are just a little bit away from leveling up, and then we've got a talent point, and then you can spend it on one of those there. Uh, you can also reset your talent points as well if you want to have a change. But we'll just confirm that. Uh, money wise, we can purchase this first one, which is rate of fire increase. Uh, so we'll buy that for now. Confirm. I'm going to grab this blueprint. So we've got primary twin guns now. So they change all the time. You press the X button as well, uses the rage meter, which is the little orange bar above the character's head. Right, so yeah, and this is now the second level. So it's all sort of seamless a little bit. There is a few loading screens between when you go in and out of buildings. Um, let's jump in this car and we'll take it around the corner. And run people over as well. Uh, let's go through this way, take a shortcut. And there's an enemy car there. Try to crash into that. Right, so it's just around the corner. Well, a little bit further up the road, around the corner even. <laughs> Let's jump out of there. Right, um, we're right for health, so we can leave the med kit that's on the table at the top of the screen there. Let's go and uh, find this guy, here he is. So that's get closer, activate our rage meter, and go over this there, kill him really quick. Oh, we still haven't leveled up yet. Nearly did. Right, so, yeah, confirm that's got no points, we haven't got enough cash. We can pick that up. So we've got a rapid shot special weapon which we use on the left bumper to use that. Like so. Right, let's go and uh, start the next one. Right, so on this we've got to actually chase the UFO. And you can shoot from your car as well. Same method as when you're walking around. Just need to get close enough to him. Let's get a move on. Oh, we crashed. No. It's relatively easy because the, this is quite early on in the game. I said I've actually gone back. Right, so this is a um, alien boss fight. So when you do the chase, you get one of these afterwards. It is fairly straightforward to stay away from his bullets. Okay. 
go. We'll level up this time as well, so we should be able to purchase a uh, an upgrade there. Let's have a look. Right, so we can go tough guy, which is uh, plus ten to max health. Increase the speed by five percent. Um, touching an enemy pushes him back and deals 150 damage. I don't really want to learn that one yet. Whilst that one blood lost 9.9 percent .9 chance to regenerate five health points after killing an enemy, and uh, the rage is 20 percent to rate of fire and 16 percent to speed for five seconds. We activate with the export and right. So let's just go for the blood loss one. Carry on. We've not got enough money to buy any uh, upgrades for the weapons. Right, let's move on now. So again, we just need to go and find the bank. You obviously don't have to go straight there like I'm doing for the video. You can actually just go and mess about, walk around, kill things. I suppose it's a nice way to just grind a little bit of extra cash and XP out of stuff. Help you level up. There we go, we're here now. Alright, let's get this the boss done here, and I think we'll call it a day there because it's um, pretty much straightforward. This game, it's not much more to it. I said there is some levels on alien planets, but it's the same as this, really. Just aliens instead of people to shoot. Let's grab that cash. Let's go and kill this boss. Of these guys, quick. This is second to fire to get rid of him quickly. There we go. Confirm that, confirm that, scrub that. So what I want to quickly do though, before we disappear, oh we've got a new weapon now, not this uh, spiral one. Um, we're just going to quickly go back to the main menu and just show you quickly how many stages the game has. So I'm currently at, um, where are we? Stage 13, that's an alien planet one. And we can scroll through and there is uh, 48 levels in total, stages. Um, but as I said, you can go back and grind for money and upgrades. Um, but that's pretty much it. Yeah, so this has been a quick preview of State of Anarchy Master of Mayhem. As we said earlier on, it's going to be available on the 1st of August. So go and check it out if you're interested. Hope this video has given a nice little insight to the game, what it looks like, what it plays like. If it does, please leave a like on it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon.